Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. My name is T and this is my YouTube channel, Crumpets Tea and Sewing. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the fabrics that I just recently purchased from Fabric Mart Fabrics as well as Mood Fabrics. So this is a fabric haul and I'm going to be sharing with you some of the patterns that I have in mind with some of these fabrics that I have picked up. And so usually when I pick up fabrics, I do have fab uh, different patterns in mind for those fabrics. And so I'm going to share with you those as well. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and get into today's video and let's take a look at some gorgeous fabric. Okay, so we're gonna first start with my Mood Fabric Haul. And every time I do a Mood Fabric Haul, I always get uh, swatches because my Mood Fabric Haul is usually somewhere between $50 to $100. And so you get uh, free swatches uh, the more fabric that you order, the more swatches you get. And so I always get these swatches um, and I get swatches based on things that I have saved, like uh, fabrics that I have saved in my wish list or things that I am t intending to buy. And so this one here, I, I did a swatch of this last year, but the swatch that I did was of a rayon fabric. This is like a cotton lawn. So actually it's a cotton boil. And uh, yeah, there's the item number there. And it's such a beautiful uh, piece here. And because it's a voil, it's very light in weight. It is a little bit translucent, but it's not transparent. It's not totally transparent. So yeah, I like it, I like it, and I think I might get this. That is perfect for the summer. This is a shirt weight fabric. I really love the color on this. Again, this is a cotton, I love my cottons. So this is um, a cotton shirting fabric. So it's turquoise, lilac, um, and white with tiny flowers on it. And so there's the item number for that one there. And yeah, it's so gorgeous. Look at that. I think that would be cute for a top, like a button up top. That would be really cute or a shirt dress. This is also a rayon Batiste fabric. It's a burgundy red. It's a mood exclusive fabric. And I really like that as well. It's kind of light in weight and it's a little bit transparent as well. I ordered the swatch for a specific reason and I'll show I'll share with you the fabric that I had in mind. I was going to do like a color blocking with this fabric and a floral fabric that I had purchased, uh, but the color scheme is not where I want it to be. And so I'm going to pass on this one, but it is a really nice uh, fabric. It's light in weight and it has a little bit of a drape. So that's really fun. This is a Balenciaga piece. It's an Italian purple blue meteorite floral fabric. And it is kind of like a, a soft crepe. I really like that. That's cute. But this is definitely going to be for like uh, summer. It's very, very light in weight. Very light. And it may need to be lined. And then lastly, I picked up this fabric here. I didn't really care for this one. It has like velvet material on top of the flowers, which I don't really like. It is a cotton fabric. I love the print, but I don't really like it as much. This is black, gray, and harvest gold flop flowers. And that's the item number there. So I didn't really like that one as much. But overall, really great swatches, really nice looking fabrics. So for that burgundy piece, this piece here, let me share with you the fabric that I purchased and what, and what my plans were. So I wanted a rayon Batiste fabric similar to this, but in a solid color scheme close to this here. Now this is almost, it almost match, but I don't really like the way that it looks against the fabric here. It just, this looks more like a cotton type fabric, whereas this has a, a satin 
type look to it or a really nice soft sheen which i really like now i ordered this back in let's see i want to say january or maybe even december of last year uh, and I ordered two more yards. So this is my second purchase of this because I really love it And I decided to make a dress when I originally Purchased it. I was going to make a top for Valentine's Day But now I'm thinking I'm going to make a dress with it And so now I have a total of four yards of it and I absolutely love it. It's just a beautiful beautiful piece so I'm excited to get somewhere out of a dress um, when I make a dress out of this, it's very flowy. And like I said, it's a rayon batiste. So it's really nice drapey. It has a, a satin um, finish on the, it's not like a real shiny satin, but it has like a, kind of like a cotton sateen type finish on the face of the fabric. Really, really gorgeous. I love it. Next, I picked up this cotton shirting fabric. This is also from Mood. It is such a gorgeous fabric. I love this fabric here. Um, it's it's really gorgeous. It really is. And for a cotton fabric, I mean, it almost behaves like a um, a rayon or some type of rayon blend. It is such a gorgeous fabric. For this to be for this to be a shirting fabric and a cotton shirting fabric at that. I mean, it has a great amount of movement here. It's not that stiff at all. So I'm really excited about this. And I'm hoping to make either a shirt dress with this or some type of, I don't know, either a shirt dress or some type of dress with gathers or something like that, I think would be uh, really cute, really nice with it. I just purchased a new a new look pattern. Um, and I'll try to take a picture so that I can share with you what it looks like, but it's an older pattern and it's a shirt dress pattern. And I think I might use that pattern for this fabric. It's a gorgeous fabric and I can't wait to do something with it. And you all know blue is my favorite color. So definitely going to be sewing this here pretty soon. Okay. So the last fabric I purchased from Mood is this 12 fabric. It's kind of like a twill uh, viscose type fabric. It says it's a polyester twill, but it behaves somewhat like a viscose. It's kind of drapey. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. I like it. And I think a really nice dress or a really nice top would be cute with this, especially like if you wear like some red pumps or some type of red shoes or something like that would really be gorgeous with this here now i'm thinking about this pattern here from deer and doe which i absolutely love so when i purchased this i specifically purchased this for this pattern here so i'm thinking about this i want to add sleeves like a bishop sleeve to it i love the necktie and i think i would do like um either a red color for the necktie or maybe bring out this uh, bluish green here for the necktie. But I think that would be so cute, so, so cute. And I'm hoping to make that. The remainder of my haul is from Fabric Mart Fabrics. So these next several fabrics are from Fabric Mart Fabrics. And I'll try to put the links in the description box below, but you know how Fabric Mart is. Sometimes these are available and then sometimes they're not. So this is an ITY knit and I love this. I'm thinking about making the um, Friday Company wrap dress. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it here. And I'm thinking about making that with this. Now, because this is like a specific color scheme, like you have a lot of red with black, um, you know, the black is the background and then you have all these red flowers. I would like to do this for a specific holiday, like maybe Christmas or Valentine's Day or something like that. So I'm going to save this fabric and maybe make a Christmas dress or a Valentine's dress next year. But I definitely want to make a um, version of that Friday pattern company wrap dress pattern. So that's what I purchased this particular um, fabric for. Next, I purchased this gorgeous Charmeuse uh, 
satin fabric. This is a white and black dotted charmeuse fabric. I purchased two and a half, two, two and a half yards of this and it is so gorgeous. And I'm thinking about making uh, the newly released simplicity slip dress with this. So here's the pattern. And I'm thinking about making this uh, slip dress here with this. And I couldn't tell you when I'm going to make it, but I would love to make this pattern with this fabric here. Next, I picked up this zebra print. This is so gorgeous. Absolutely love. I purchased four yards of this. Now, Fabric Mart had something similar to this uh, last year, I believe, and the year before last. And they just purchased some more of this. And I'm just so thrilled that they purchased this because I've been waiting for some type of zebra print or something like that to, to find some type of zebra print. And I had intended on purchasing something similar from Fabric Mart, but or not Fabric Mart, sorry, fabric.com and they closed. And so now I have, I had the opportunity to purchase some more. And I was like, I am not going to let this, um, go by me again. So I purchased this and four yards of it. And I'm thinking about making this pattern here from, uh, Friday pattern company. And I want to make both the top and the pants. So thinking about doing that here with that fabric. So I picked up another black and white print. I, I have a lot of black and white. I love black and white. And after like seeing my spring wardrobe and seeing how much I have in my spring wardrobe, I have so many different colorful pieces now. I don't feel bad going back to black and whites because I have a balance now. But this fabric here is um, another animal print and it's a uh, black and white, large scale, little um kind of like paws i guess and such a gorgeous piece it's a rayon chalet and again i'm thinking about something like this or maybe even a dress i haven't decided which way i want to go with this uh but yeah a two-piece or either a dress for this fabric for sure so really love that fabric so next I picked up another black and white print, no surprise. So this is um, a white fabric with black uh, dots. So it's a polka dot fabric and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see, I purchased two and a half yards of this. So I'm thinking about a dress, a gorgeous uh, polka dot dress for summer. And I think matching it with my yellow, uh, scrappy heels and a yellow bag or yellow belt or even uh, maybe blue because I love blue. I have uh, different types of blue sandals and blue belts and blue bags. And so I think uh, matching this with some bright colors would be really fun and really um, cute to, to do. So this is a rayon chalet and so it has quite a bit of drape. Now I was worried about the fact that it is white and I was thinking it's going to be uh, transparent to, um, uh, to the point where I would have to line it. But I don't, I don't think, I think maybe if I choose black undergarments, it'll be fine. So I really like that. Two more rayon chalet pieces that are darker <laughs> so they are navy blue with white um a white foreground so this one is like a white uh abstract dots and this one is a uh, white floral pattern here now i had this one before and i purchased two yards of it and i could not find any top pattern that i wanted to make with it and i kept it it kept um, screaming dress to me. And so I decided to purchase two more yards of this. Luckily, um, Fabric Mart, um, they were able to carry this again. And so I'm really excited about that. So now I have quite a bit of fabric that I can actually make a dress with. So I'm really excited about that. So it's a rayon uh, chalet as well. So it's gonna have a similar drape to most of the fabrics that I just showed you.
So this one here has a navy blue background. And again, it's going to have that same drape. I purchased two and a half yards of this. And I'm thinking about a dress with this as well. And I would love to make something um, that would pair well with uh, a red bag, a red belt, some red shoes with this because I think it would be really cute uh, with the navy blue and the white there. So really love this. Next, I purchased two yards of this lavender color rayon chalet. It's 62 inches wide, which is really, really amazing. So this is uh, titled Sugar Plum, 100% rayon chalet. And yeah, it's just a solid color. And I wanted that because I always need solids in my wardrobe. And I'm thinking about a top with that. So the top pattern I'm thinking about with this is the Friday Company's patina blouse. I think the patina blouse will look so cute with this. And that's what I'm thinking about doing. I would like to hack the patina blouse to um, like a crop top, kind of like not so much cropped where it would show my tummy, but more crop than the longer shirt dress or the shirt, uh, the button front shirt style that you see um, on the cover of the, of the pattern. And I would like to put elastic in the end of the bottom of the top. So I'm thinking about playing with that patina blouse and doing something like that. So really excited to, to play with that pattern. And I think this fabric is going to help me do that. This next fabric here is a repurchase. Again, I wanted to get some more of this fabric. I purchased this fabric last year and I purchased two yards of it and I just could not find any dress pattern that I could make something with, with two yards that I would actually feel comfortable with sewing that with. And I purchased that piece, the piece that I purchased, I think it was last year sometime, it was from fabric.com and uh, Fabric Mart Fabrics recently have this in stock. So they, they just recently got some of this in stock. And so I decided to go ahead and purchase some of it. And I was hoping that it was the same color scheme. I was a little bit nervous because it was coming from two different uh, companies there, but it's the same exact fabric. And I am so excited. So I'm thinking about making the Simplicity S9702 this here with it sometime this spring. I think it's going to be amazing. I want to make this view here, view C, and it calls for four yards of fabric. And so again, I got two yards of this and I'm going to put that with the two yards that I already have and make this beautiful dress. So that is the plan for this fabric. Lastly, I purchased this waffle knit and I'm going to be honest, this is the only fabric out of the entire bunch that I'm not quite pleased with. It's not a bad fabric. It's just not what I was expecting. And so I got two yards of it and I don't know what I'm going to do with all of this. It's a really wide fabric. Actually, I got two and a half yards of it. It's a really wide fabric and it just, it's not... It's not exactly what I expected, but um, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try to sew something with it because with Fabric Mart, you can't really send anything back anyway. And so instead of getting rid of it, I'm going to try something with it. And I'm, I think I want to try this pattern here, the Simplicity S9740 with it. Give that a try and see how that how that all works out. So I'll give that a try and see how it all works out. All right, friends, that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and for stopping by. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave comments in the comment section below letting me know exactly what you liked about this haul. So with that said, I hope you all have a beautiful and happy sewing week. And I will talk to you all later. Stay creative. Bye.